Welcome back, friends, to the Castro Valley News live show. Uh, Michael is <laughs> Michael is in the house. Good evening, Michael. Michael, uh, good evening, Tiffany, as well. Let me just mention something about how. Welcome back, Bob. Uh, proud to be on 103. And there it is. This is episode 103. My name is Roberto. This is the Castro Valley News live show. Um, I want to give a tip of the cap to Michael because Michael is the re good evening, Laura. Welcome to the show and happy Saturday night to you as well. I want to tip my cap up. Uh, good evening, Barbara. Uh, Barbara, are you new to the show? If if you're not, I apologize. It does you uh, you don't look familiar, and I apologize. Uh, Michael says no picking on me tonight. Michael, no, no picking on you at all. I want to tip my cap to you because Michael, you're actually the reason why I am more um, diligent in starting the show on time. Because whenever I'm late, Michael is Michael usually uh, sends me a, a message. Good evening, Don. I love you, sir. Welcome to the show. Whenever I'm late, uh, Michael is awesome, and he'll send me an inbox message or um, or or text me and say, "Where are you at, Roberto?" So, Michael, I want to say thank you. So, there you go. Aaron also said you are great. Uh, Barbara is not new to the show. She says somewhat. I show up every now and again. Either way, Barbara, we're glad that you joined us tonight. Cali Life is in the house. Hope you're doing well. Good evening to you. Uh, Don says he loves me. This is a love fest and it's it's wonderful. So Michael, no picking on you tonight. Michael, I love you. I appreciate uh, your efforts. There you go. Eileen is saying good evening, Michael. Don is tagging Keiki. Uh, Don is also tagging Angie. Uh, you're welcome, Barbara. But thank you again, Michael, for uh, being that impetus. Uh, impetus could be the word of the night. I love that. I learned that from a, uh, oh, 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 I think it was a bank commercial, but it's a, it's a good, good, hearty, meaty, juicy, $2 word, impetus. If our moderator is in the house, uh, he can post up the link to that. I guess he's not. We don't have a moderator tonight. Let me, let me message my, our moderator here. Don is tagging Jim and Carol. Good evening, Carolyn. Thank you, Michael. Michael is tagging Doug. Uh, Don is asking, is Bob here? Bob is in the house. Uh, good evening to Jean. Just Jean, sorry, just Jean. Uh, Bob says, many Girl Scouts have posted links to their cookie sales sites, see Castro Valley News, granddaughter included. Right on, Bob. Yes. Uh, Aaron, thank you, sir. Uh, good evening to Kathy. Hope you're doing well. Aaron, thank you for the 100 stars. If you're not familiar with the stars program, it's a cool thing that Meta Facebook has set up. There's a link here. There's an icon that you can click. It is a cool way to show monetary love for live content creators on Facebook, us included. Thank you, Aaron, you are awesome. Don is tagging Chrissy and Aaron, and I, I'm i trying to tag the, uh, sorry, text our moderator and not fall behind. Someone else just sent stars. Tiffany just sent star 100 stars. Tiffany has sent stars eight weeks in a row. Um, Aaron has sent stars two weeks in a row. Thank you, Aaron and Tiffany. You guys are awesome. Uh, Just Jean says, freezing once. Uh, Ross, thank you for the 100 stars and, and a hearty good evening to you, sir. Ross has sent stars two weeks in a row. Thank you. And also, uh, since we're in the roll call, my mom says hello to everyone. So nothing but love for mom. Let me hang on. I'm trying to see if I can get our moderator in the house here. Hey, mom, love you. Also, since Ross just sent some stars, I want to remind you, uh, mom, Aaron says hello. Uh, Justine says I'm freezing again. So 
Justine says, hello, mom. Kathy sent 200 stars. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy has sent stars two weeks in a row. You are awesome, Kathy. Uh, Carolyn just sent 500 stars. Carolyn has sent stars three weeks in a row. Again, if you're not familiar with the stars program, it is a super cool thing that Facebook has set up. It allows you to buy a few stars and you can support live content creators on Facebook that way. Again, there's a little icon, there's a link right here. You can just, whatever you're comfortable with is cool. You know, uh, full disclosure, Meta, Facebook gets a couple pennies per star, but the majority of what you purchase comes to us. I just saw an invoice from Meta, and actually, I got to tell you guys this. Uh, Don, thank you for tagging Kathleen, Leanna, and Aaron. You are awesome, Don. I love you. Thank you again to everyone who is sending stars. But I want to let you guys know that the stars thing is legit. I just saw an invoice from Facebook, and I got to tell you, it's actually cool to see an invoice from Facebook, like Facebook is sending you money. They're not taking your money. Uh, Ross is saying, hey mom, when will we see you on the show? Uh, Ross, I don't think my mom's gonna be on the show. <laughs> it, it took 40 episodes for me <laughs> to, to appear, to have this ugly mug on, on the show. Uh, but I can I can definitely ask mom to see if she would like to be on the show, but I'm, I'm gonna guess. Uh, it's not going to happen. Tanya is in the house. Love you, Tanya. You, Tanya, you are awesome. Thank you so much, Tanya, for all of your uh, gracious concern when I was going through COVID. Uh, you're awesome. I appreciate you so much, Tanya. Uh, Tanya sent 99 stars. Thank you so much, Tanya. I appreciate you a great deal. You know that. Also, I'm going to take this moment to, well, for starters, thank Don again, because Don is tagging Katrina, Kathy, Renee, another Renee, and Tom. Uh, Jennifer just sent 50 stars. Uh, Jennifer, I think you're I think you're new to the show. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But thank you, Jennifer, for the 50 stars. Again, the stars thing is super cool. It's something that Facebook set up for... Uh, ev anyone, everyone to support live content creators, people who are doing live streams. There's a little icon right here. You can click and you can send, send whatever amount of stars you are comfortable with. I don't, it, you don't have to. I'm just, I'm saying that right now. You don't have to. I love you just the same. Uh, uh, Jennifer says, second time watching the show. She loves my shirt too. Carolyn does as well. Um, Bob says, mom can be the special guest for CBN 200. I'm hoping that we're going to get someone, I don't know who, anyone, we're going to get a wedding for episode 200. A wedding. Someone's wedding or someone uh, renewing their vows. Some sort of nuptials. That's another $2 word. And the moder our moderator is MIA. I, maybe I should text him. Uh, but I would I would like to not be distracted from the show. Uh, let me see. Give me one second, guys. Sorry, guys. Okay, just checking to see if we can get a moderator in here. Uh, Bob says we can do a shirt of the show club. <laughs> also, let me mention any day that you go in public wearing a purple rain shirt, everyone is your best friend. It's amazing. And I don't wear the shirt too often. I've only wore it a couple times. Uh, and I'm a, I'm a gigantic Prince fan. And the last time I wore this shirt, I was out delivering our magazine, the Castrovelli news magazine. And it seemed like Every business I went into, someone said, oh, my God, I love your shirt. Oh, my God, I love Prince. Oh, my goodness. It, it, it's like an international handshake immediately. Everybody just uh, instantaneously reacts to the Purple Rain shirt and two people tonight have. So I'm completely off track with what I – yes. Getting back to Tanya. Tanya, thank you so much for um, – reaching well i saw you 
and and your concern and then reaching out later uh, because I had mentioned to, to Tanya when I, I brought a few items to the community cupboard and Tanya is awesome and Tanya was awesome and followed up and messaged me back and said, um, can I help you? Do you need anything? Good evening, Rena. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the show. And pardon me, but good evening, Rena. Hope you're doing well. So T Tanya, Tanya is, oh, there you go. Annette, good evening. <laughs> Annette loves the shirt as well. She bought her 13 year old daughter one. Yes. Uh, I think I think Bob is voting for uh, a wedding for the 200th episode. I'll do everything I can to get some sort of nuptials, a wedding. I think it would be awesome if, if episode 200 was a wedding uh, between someone. We're not naming names because I don't I don't want to I don't want to pick on that wonderful gentleman again. He he feels as if last episode we, we picked on him, and it, it it was all it's all love. It's all love on the show. We're 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 a family. Uh, it, it, it feels like we're all super close and, and very, um, uh, no, it seems like we're all just connected in this, this cool way with the show, but getting back to Tanya, I want to let you know, Tanya is the amazing person behind the community cupboard on forest Avenue. Our, mo our moderator is coming. But I want to text him back and let him know it's all good. Give me one second, guys. I'm sorry. Oops. I just don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to make the stream slower by using other programs on my desktop here. So I'm just going to do this from my phone. I appreciate your patience. Okay, all good. But getting back to Tanya, and I want to let you know about the community cupboard on Forest Avenue. I don't have the address off the top of my head. I'm assuming someone will know about uh, where the address is and, and post it up there. You cannot miss the community cupboard on Forest Avenue. It's beautiful. It's blue. It's painted with, with flowers and all sorts of cool stuff. But I wanted to give you a reminder that the community cupboard exists. If you have um, items in your refrigerator, in your uh, pantry, in your freezer, there you go, Tanya, thank you so much, 20330 Forest Avenue is the address of the amazing community cupboard, 20330 Forest Avenue. I want to give you a few uh, pointers and tips and information items on the community cupboard. Please, please consider donating. Please do not donate. Uh, expired items. Please, if you are going to go to 20330 Forest Avenue, which is the community covered, please, I implore you, do not block driveways, do not double park, do not be rude to the neighbors. We want you to be able to utilize this wonderful community resource. Uh, we want it to continue, but please be courteous of the neighbors on Forest Avenue near 20330 Forest Avenue. Please, please, please be courteous to the neighbors. Don't block driveways, don't double park. I know there's some people who probably have mobility issues, may not be able to you know, uh, walk a great distance because sometimes it's tough to find a parking spot near the community cupboard at 20330 Forest Avenue. I'm making up for all the other times where I don't know the address. Please, no expired items. Please bring your donations to the porch. Also, if you have items and you have uh, transportation issues and you can't make it to the community cupboard, you can text me or send me a message through the page. I'll come to your place. I'll pick items up off your porch and bring them to the community cupboard. But again, please, no expired items. Uh, my, my number is 510-331-9112 if you would like to arrange a contact free porch pickup. Uh, Tanya says, if you let me know you're coming and you have mobility issues, I can move the cones and you can park in the driveway directly behind my vehicle. I need to know first via Facebook would probably be the best community, uh, the best way. Community uh, covered Facebook page. Tanya, post up the community covered Facebook page. Uh, since our moderator is uh, uh, has been called away with other things. But again, guys, 
and this is another thing that I mention every time that I that we kind of discuss the community covered. I'm sorry, Bob, because I know I know Bob uh, has mentioned that the community covered comes up often, and it comes up often for good reason because the community covered helps so many so many people, uh, our homeless neighbors, folks who may be down in their luck because of the pandemic. Uh, the list goes on and on and on to the break of break of dawn, but the community covered is such an amazing resource. I have seen tons and tons, not tons, I say this, this this is like the broken record uh, 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 portion of the show. I say the same thing every time. I have seen a lot of good food tossed in the trash behind the dumpster at CVS. I saw it because I, I kind of walk around, I, you know, sometimes I go to CVS and sometimes and then I go to the library, so I'm parked there and I kind of use that little shortcut boxes of good canned foods ends up in the garbage please don't throw that away there's other people who can who can use it who may need it so again if you have stuff that you're looking to get rid of cleaning your pantry cleaning your freezer cleaning your refrigerator stuff that's not expired please bring it to the community cupboard 20330 forest avenue if you can't make it to the community cupboard give me a call shoot me an email whatever whatever's easiest for you I will come and do a porch pickup and bring it to the community cupboard. Please do not throw good food away. There's there's people who can use it. There's people who need it. And again, thank you so much, Tanya, for that amazing community resource. It's remarkable. Like I said before, I have a, I have a really close friend who lives in Concord. And she told me, she saw the photo of the community cupboard on, on our Facebook page. And she said, that's the most amazing community cupboard I've ever seen. And she's seen a bunch of them. So, uh, Bob says, Bob says, I like the community. Bob is in all caps. So Bob's shouting at me. I like the community cover. Don't know why you always say, sorry, Bob, Tanya is superhero. I only say that because one time there was something, I think that you had mentioned that, um, I think it was this, this show is not a mention, uh, no mention of the community cover tonight. So Bob, I apologize if, if you feel like I'm singling you out. It's not my intention. Uh, I will cease and desist that tonight. I will never say that again. Uh, Don says, all broken records at Castor Valley's own One Bad Apple Records. Don, I love you. Don is the owner of One Bad Apple Records on Castor Valley Boulevard. That's across Pete's Ace Hardware. This is not an advertisement for, for One Bad Apple. I'm just mentioning it because Don is awesome and he makes, he makes the show so remarkable. Randall, good evening to you, my friend. Uh, Randall and Tanya just posted the Facebook page for the community covered. So there you go. Uh, Bob says it was not you. I, 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 I got, I, it, it happened, <laughs> but it's okay, Bob. I love you. And I will not mention you, uh, being nonplussed about the community covered. I apologize. I will make a mental note and I will write it down on the list. No. Sorry, I'm just writing this down because I want to. I want to remember because I do not want to. Uh, I don't want to seem like I'm pulling pulling Bob's hair or 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 teasing him in any way because I love Bob, I respect Bob, and I, I appreciate everything that he brings to the to the show. So with that said, we're still doing the roll call. Let me sc scroll back. Uh, Michael, thank you for the invitation. Uh, I, Michael says, I am the only one that can come to Amador County for CBN 200 show. So if you're, if you're inviting me out, Michael, that means that there's going to be something special happening for the 200th episode, Michael. Um, just asking. The wonderful owner of Restore and Rework, that is Makaya. I'm pro I probably said it wrong. Just sent 250 stars five weeks in a row. Thank you, Makaya. Makaya, it's Makaya, right? And I apologize in advance for always pronouncing your way, your name incorrect. Paulette is in the house. Good evening, uh, Paulette. Sorry, says sorry she's late. Nope, 
Nope, there is no late on this show. There is only glad that you are here. So thank you, Paulette. Also, thank you, Paulette, for the 500 stars. Paulette has sent stars six weeks in a row. Thank you, Paulette. You are awesome. And Micaiah sent 250 stars five weeks in a row. Thank you. And Restore and Rework, this is not an advertisement. Restore and Rework. Okay. Good evening, Maggie. Welcome to the show. Hello, Kimberly. Kimberly, I am glad you're back. And I got to tell you also, my mom is super glad that you're back. I think I mentioned this last episode, which was Tuesday. Kimberly, my mom asked, what happened to Kimberly? My mom was all over wondering what was going on with Kimberly, and I'm glad that you are back and you are safe. Sounds like you are healthy. Want to scroll back, um, restore and rework on San Carlos Avenue. That's one street behind Castro Valley Boulevard. Think of the back end of the Valley Inn. That is San Carlos Avenue. Restore and rework is a super cool uh, vintage store. There's a lot of cool vintage items, antiques. If you're looking for like a one of a kind gift that's that's the store to hit up is restoring the work they are awesome um gary is in the house good evening gary i hope you're doing well gary says good evening to everybody and to any new members that may or may not be on you're awesome gary thank you good evening to uh, don just sent a hundred stars don has sent stars six weeks in the six weeks in a row I'm trying to use my words <laughs> properly. Uh, Kimberly says, I went bowling this afternoon. I'm assuming at uh, Village Bowl. Hope you hope you did good. Yep, there. <laughs> uh, just Jean asked at the Village. Maggie, thank you for tagging Monette and Marlon. And also, Don has sent stars six weeks in a row. If you're not familiar with the stars thing, the stars program, it's something cool that Facebook has set up. There's an icon here. You can purchase stars. You can send them to us. Uh, Meta gets a, a, like a hair of the proceeds and the majority of it goes to us. You don't have to send stars. It'd be awesome. If you did, you don't have to though. Randall just posted up the Facebook page for Restore and Rework, and they are located at 2572 San Carlos Avenue. Awesome gift items, one of a kind things. This is not an ad for them. I just like them. They're cool. They've supported us. I'm going to support them. Eileen, welcome to you. Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. Eileen sent 100 stars. Thank you so much. Eileen has sent stars six weeks in a row. I'm going to give you another reminder. There's a little icon here. You can send stars. You can send whatever amount if you feel like supporting Casavelli News in a monetary way. I appreciate it. The money comes here. <laughs> like I said, I saw the invoice coming in from Facebook made a the other day and it your your money on stars it's coming to us it's not going to facebook uh michael says the cbn 200 show will not be a wedding it will be on amador county famous christmas village uh michael if you're bringing me out to amador county it's 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 got to be for it's got to be for a wedding my friend and i'm not teasing you and i'm not giving you a bad time but, and if anybody else out there listening is getting married uh, sometime in the, in the future, uh, please <laughs> let me know. Let, let's coordinate and, and get your wedding on episode 200. I, I, think, I think it would be great. It would be a cool, cool thing. But Michael, I love you. And <laughs> uh, yes, there you go. Don says, uh, restore and rework are behind Castro Valley's one, one Bad Apple Records. So One Bad Apple Records are on the boulevard. You go one street over on San Carlos Avenue that you will find Restore and Rework. Two amazing shops owned by wonderful, cool people. So there you go. There you have that. Uh, do, do, do. We're still doing the roll call. And I want to make sure I haven't missed anyone in the roll call. Uh, Randall, I had a conversation with Randall earlier in the week, and I want to thank you on the show, Randall, for your compliments and wonderful comments uh, about the show. I appreciate you, Randall. Uh, and also, Eileen has sent stars six weeks in a row. Thank you again, Eileen. I want to make sure I'm not... Chrissy is in the house. Good evening to you. I hope you're doing well. 
Also want to mention, since uh, Paulette and Ross are on the show, um, Maggie is tagging the Real Estate Girls with Curls. I love that name. Uh, Maggie also tagged Lupe. Kathy says, hello, Chrissy. Carla is in the house. Carla, are you new? I don't recognize your name. I know I, I'm going to end up asking everyone if they're new because I love when new people join us. I think Carla's new. Uh, Michael is asking, did I send your shirt out yet? It's on its way, sir. Should be at your doorstep soon. If you're listening and you want to shout out, we're doing the roll call. We do the roll call through the whole episode. Uh, Maggie says, hello, Don. And Don said, hello, Maggie. Uh, I got some texts here. Okay. Nothing pressing. If you're listening, you want to shout out, post up a comment. We will include you in our wonderful roll call. If I didn't mention it before, my name is Roberto. This is the Castro Valley News live show. This is the show that we do every Tuesday and Saturday night from 7 to 8. <laughs> Bob asked, am I back out and about? I am out and about very limited. Uh, mask included. I am going into shops uh, very fast. I'm dashing in and dashing out. I haven't tested myself in a while since Monday. I'm probably going to be, be doing a test tomorrow and finger, fingers crossed I'll be negative so I can visit my mom and my beautiful, wonderful, amazing girlfriend. My mom's beautiful, wonderful, and amazing as well. Let me just include that because I don't want to exclude anybody. Uh, good evening, Dennis. Dennis is in the house. Dennis sent 500 stars. Dennis has sent stars seven weeks in a row. There is a stars icon here. If you want to dig into your pocketbook and, and show s some monetary love for Casarelli News, you can do that. It's a cool thing that Facebook has set up for viewers to support live content creators. Thank you, Dennis. You are a scholar and a gentleman. And also, Dennis, your gift card to Pizza Express should be at your doorstep very soon. Dennis has sent stars seven weeks in a row. Thank you, sir. Don says, shout out to Metal Rob at Richard. Uh, if they are listening, there you go. Let me mention to you something that is cool. Actually, we're going to, let's just go into the midway giveaway momentarily because it's, it's two minutes away. Um, Bob says, do my test live on Tuesday. <laughs> we can celebrate or commiserate with you. That's a beautiful idea. That's a great idea. I love that. Bob, you're a genius. You are a genius. Uh, Don says, thank you, Dennis. Oh, okay. That, yeah, that's a joke behind the scenes. Uh, Dennis, uh, Don, Don has a joke behind the scenes for every time that I mention stars. <laughs> And, and since we're doing that, and since Don is doing that, let me take a moment and thank everyone who has sent stars. Whatever you spend on stars, it, it comes directly to Castor Daily News. It comes to us. It comes in here. Um, so thank you. So thank you. It, it, it's legit. That whole thing is definitely legit. It's the Midway giveaway. It's coming up. Uh, momentarily and I don't I don't want to be late for the midway giveaway because I know uh, last episode the midway giveaway was at the end I think <laughs> and I apologize for that because I you know it, it the show one of the things that I really love at, at 730 now so it's the, so it's the midway giveaway good evening Jacob welcome to the show that's uh, three people who love the shirt like I said if you go anywhere wearing a purple rain shirt, you it, it is like the biggest door opener in the world. Everyone just, it, it's immediate smiles and they love it. Who, my brother said something about um, Prince in the 80s. And I think it's still kind of, it's still uh, relative and still definitely relatable to this day. If you didn't like Prince in the 80s or in general, People thought something was wrong with you. Like, why don't you like Prince? Anyways, 
thank you, Jacob, and welcome to the show. Jacob is not new th new to the show, but thank you. Oh, our uh, good evening, Mary. I hope you're doing well. Armando is new to the show. Hey guys, we got to do the. I'm gonna do a call out for a shout shout out for Armando. Armando is new to the show. Good evening, Armando, and welcome to the show. I love when new people show up. Welcome to the show, Armando. Uh, Michael just said, welcome to Armando. Maggie says, oh my goodness, they all came in at one. Maggie says, welcome, Armando. Just Jean says, welcome, Armando. Ross says, hi, Armando. Uh, oh, uh, Kathy and Chrissy say, hello, Armando. Don says, welcome, Armando. I love when I love when new people come onto the show because our regular, Eileen says, hello, Armando, because our awesome regulars are always there to, to welcome the new listeners. I love, uh, Carolyn says, welcome, Armando, as well. There you go. Armando says, feeling the love. Uh, Gary says, hello, Armando. We have such an amazing, uh, Tiffany says, hello, Armando. We have such an amazing family on the show. It just, I, I can't put words to it. You can see the smile on my face. You guys are awesome. I love, I love the people that come on the show. I love the regulars that are here. You guys are so generous and, and welcoming to new people and to me as well. So I, I just want to stop and say thank you. You guys are awesome. With that said, I'm only, uh, there you go. Uh, Don says, Don is tagging Carol and says, uh, welcome Armando. There you go. So without further ado, let's do the midway giveaway. I've got a tough question for tonight. So I'm just going to give you that in advance, but it's actually, it's a good question. <laughs> it's a cool one. But without further ado, tonight's Midway, this episode's Midway giveaway is $25 to Pizza Express. It's not a card, it's a piece of paper, but this piece of paper right here, this represents deliciousness to the winner. Deliciousness to the winner. Because Pizza Express, they got some good pizza, man. And the owner, BJ, top notch. Love that guy. Love that guy. Love seeing him. Love his pizza. Uh, we did, some time ago with Cedric, we did a restaurant review show at Pizza Express. There you go. Justine says, spends like cash. Yes, it does. Uh, Michael is saying, um, you will not win. I'll win it. And uh, I think that's what it said. And Don is, Don is teaming up with Maggie to win. So there you go. Give you that one more time. $25 to Pizza Express on Center Street. Uh, try the, I think it was the, the chick, Jacob says Pizza Express is the best. There you go. The Chicken Alfredo, when we did the restaurant review show, that is one of the uh, slices that Cedric had and uh, Cedric almost did a cartwheel <laughs> for the, I think it's chicken Alfredo. He did a, a slice of chicken Alfredo and I had a sliver of a vegetarian, a veggie one, top notch, top notch, top notch pizza at Pizza Express. So I will give you the, the uh, rules for the Midway giveaway the rules. There's like one rule. The first person to text, the correct answer to 510-331-9112 wins. I'm going to scroll back. I want to make sure I'm not missing anybody in the, for the roll call. Looks like I got everybody. If you are listening, uh, Carla also said, welcome Armando. I think I missed that. I apologize. Uh, Don says, when he wins, he will give it to Maggie. So there you go. Uh, Maggie says, Don, you're the best. Haven't had pizza in a long time. I'll tell you, if you haven't had pizza in a long time, this is not an advertisement either. <laughs> Don, that should be your cue right there that I'm not, this is not an advertisement. <laughs> but, um, uh, uh oh, 
Michael says, Don and Maggie will lose tonight because I will win it tonight, but I will give it to someone special. There you go. Uh, Chrissy is asking, what is the text number? The text number for the answer is 510-331-9112. Just Jean got it. 510-331-9112. First person to text the correct answer to the trivia question wins $25. To Pizza Express on Center Street. It, this this represents deliciousness. You're welcome, Chrissy. So, without further ado, tonight's trivia question: What was the super creative prank that happened during the 2009 Fall Festival? Uh, Don is asking, can we post it too? Yes, that will be acceptable. So we're, we're moving the rules around a little bit. So you can post up your comment in the thread because there's some people who are on their phone and can't text. But you can text as well. Ah, uh, there you go. Randall just posted up uh, uh, the Pizza Express. Is that the Facebook page? Or I think it's their website. Aaron is guessing Bubbles and Fountain. Good guess, but that is not correct. But that has, that has happened. That's a prank that has happened at, uh, there's the, the fountain across BART that has happened there. And where was the other one? I just saw it. Um, gosh, but good guess, Aaron, but that is not correct. This is, this is going to stump people. This is going to stump people. And I love this one. What was the super creative prank that happened? Uh, actually it was, I'm not going to say that it was, uh, it happened during the 2009 Fall Festival. This was this cr this prank was so creative and awesome. It, it's <laughs> it's remarkable. Um, and I, I'm I'm wondering if I can. Uh, Eileen says the canoe welcoming people to Castor Valley. Uh, good question. No. Let me. I think I can post. Uh, Michael says, someone put a car on the roof of Safeway? No. That's a great guess, though. If that actually happened, that's a that's a wonderful prank. <laughs> um, okay, I think I can do this without ruining the streak. I, Don is close. Don is close. Don is close. Maybe I might I might give it to Don because he's he's right there. Don, you're in the neighborhood. You're about five doors down from the actual answer. So I'll give you the question one more time. What was the super creative, awesome prank that happened during the uh, 2009 Fall Festival? Don, you're close. Uh, Don... I don't know if you won, but I, you're, you're super, super close. You got to give me the rest of the answer. You've got like, you've got like two. You've got one third of the answer, but you're you're very close. You have to explain a little bit. Uh, Gary is close as well. Uh, Maggie and Don are celebrating. Good evening, Linda. Linda, are you new to the show? I think you might be new to the show. I think we have two new people, guys. Linda, let me know if you're new to the show because I want to, I want everyone to give you a uh, a mass shout out. <laughs> Don says a reenactment of Thriller. Close. So many people are close. But Linda, are you new to the show? I definitely want to make sure I add your name. I think you're new. New. Sorry. Yes. Guys, Linda is new to the show. Can everyone welcome her to the show? Linda, welcome to the show. This is something that we do. There you go. Mary says, hi, Linda. New people get, there you go. Maggie says, welcome, Linda. New people to the show get a mass shout out and shower of love. Carla says, welcome, Linda. Uh, Linda said, have watched but have, hasn't participated. It's okay. You're new. Gary says, hi, Linda. Don says, hello, Linda. 
I love new people joining the show. Carolyn says, welcome, Linda. Ross says, welcome, Linda. David says, welcome, Linda. David, are you new to the show as well? I think David is new to the show. Uh, Just Jean says, Annette says, hello, Linda. Jacob says, hello. Hola, Linda. There you go. Linda says, thanks, everybody. I grew up in Castor Valley out by Palomares Canyon. Uh, where are you at now, Linda? Paulette says, hello, Linda. Callie Life says, hello, Linda. Uh, Dennis says, hello, Linda. Don says, hi, David. Uh, David says, watched a few times. First time you've participated, so there you go. Good evening, David. David is new to the show. Watched a few times. First time commented. We've got David is new too. We've got three. Mick J says, Howdy, Linda. Uh, Carolyn says, Hey, David, welcome. Callie Life says, Hello, David. Uh, Aaron, is, Aaron is guessing you're, you're, you're close, but not quite. Uh, Kathy says, hello, David, in case you're new. Maggie says, welcome. Carla says, hello, David. I love this show. I love you guys. This is awesome. I probably missed someone somewhere here. Linda is in Cherryland. You're close enough. Uh, David is in Hayward, but right at the CV line. Right on. Welcome. Uh, Eileen says, hello, David. Just Jean says, hello, David. Janella, good evening to you. Janella just sent in 50 stars. There's an icon you can click here if you want to send stars. You don't have to if you don't want to. Janella has sent stars six weeks in a row. Thank you. And David says thank you to everyone. Um, getting, getting to the question. Wait, someone else. Janella just sent 500 stars. Thank you. And Janella has sent stars six weeks in a row. If you missed it, there's an icon here. You can click it. You can you can buy a couple stars. It costs a couple bucks. The majority of the money goes to us. There's a few pennies that go to Meta Facebook. Trust me, I'm not pulling the wool over your eyes. Like I said two times before, I saw the invoice from Meta the other day, and your stars, it, it's coming to us. Mick J says, good evening to David. Thank you again, Janella. Janella has sent stars six weeks in a row. Don, Janella just sent stars in. Don, Janella just... Paulette got the question right. Congratulations, Paulette. <laughs> You're awesome, Paulette. Uh, the prank in 2009 was, you know those those traffic signs, the, the reader boards, the leader boards, whatever they're called? Uh, I'm just looking at the comments here. <laughs> Bob says, this is Roberto McMahon's star search. <laughs> uh, Janella says that we rock. You rock, Janella. Thank you so much. But getting back to the correct answer that Paulette just texted in, there was a like a like a Caltrans like a tr like a traffic leaderboard that announced that Castor Valley Boulevard would be closed due to the fall festival. Well, someone went in there and hacked that little reader board, the announcement board, and what it said was zombies on Redwood, but don't worry, bro, just chill harder. And I have the link to a video that someone took of it. And I'm going to post it up right now. There you go. So I just posted up a link to the actual video that someone took. It's hilarious. It was, it was, the prank was so awesome in so many ways. Good evening, Aaron. Aaron, I hope you're doing well. Aaron, I love you. Thank you for tuning in, Aaron. You are awesome. I love you. Uh, Barbara. There you go. Yeah, Barbara remembers it. So, yes. Getting back to the prank and congr con congratulations again to Paulette. Yes. 
this prank was so awesome on so many levels. It was it was not mean. It was hilarious. And I am a purveyor of pranks. And I'm sure you guys can appreciate a good prank as well. This person who pulled this prank could have input some nasty stuff. Some profanities could have been posted in there. But it said zombies on Redwood. But don't worry, bro. Just chill harder. It was it was beautiful. And like I said, I just posted up uh, a YouTube video, a link to a YouTube video um, that where you can see it. It was awesome. I will post it up one more time because there's a bunch of other comments that are that are coming up. Uh, congratulations, Paulette. You are awesome. So let me get back to the list. We're still doing the roll call. I want to mention to you guys that oh, we did the midway giveaway. We just did the midway giveaway, which was like three quarter giveaway. Sorry. I just, I get excited. And, and you know, uh, yes, <laughs> Carolyn says it was an innocent prank. It was hilarious. It was great. It was, it's granted it did detract from the uh the message that the folks with the chamber of commerce had about the fall festival but it it was hilarious it was it was more mischief than anything else and of course the next day they they changed it and it said castor valley boulevard <laughs> was closed but again uh, and i have a friend who knows who actually did this prank <laughs> um again Zombies on Redwood, but don't worry, bro. Just chill harder. Words to live by. We should have a we should have a shirt that says that. It was beautiful. It was great. Uh, I wanted to mention to you guys, uh, it, not just not only is Paulette the winner of tonight's Midway giveaway, but Paulette and her husband Ross have been doing something called a cash mob. And the last one, I talked it up during uh, Tuesday's episode. It was at Wen's Cafe, and it turned out amazing. And I'm I'm jumping on Paulette and Ross's bandwagon with the cash mob because it was, I, I, if I understand correctly, it was Ross's idea to start this. But Paulette is doing it as well. I am going to do whatever I can to help Paulette and Ross with this cash mob i know i think it was the beginning of the pandemic there was a different cash mob i think it was through the chamber of commerce and this is not detracting anything from that effort but i'm going to help uh paula and ross promote it the the upcoming cash mobs and also i'm, I'm going to chip in some cash for the cash mob because i want to do whatever i can to support local businesses the other thing that I do is I buy these gift cards to support local businesses. And I'm, I'm, I don't want to have this be like me singing my own praises because this was Ross and Paulette's idea. It's their, it's their baby. But I'm, like I said, I'm going to join, I'm going to jump on their bandwagon and help them do some more cash mobs in the future. Uh, someone is asking what did, I miss with zombies taking over Fall Fest. And I think this, oh, it's Todd. Welcome to the show, Todd. Todd is in the house. So uh, Todd, the Midway giveaway question was, uh, what was the super creative uh, prank that happened leading up to the 2009 Fall Festival? And Todd, if you look in the comments, I'll post it again. Todd, check the comments out. Here's a link to a YouTube video. Someone got into the message board and they changed it from saying uh, Castor Valley Boulevard will be closed for the fall festival. Somebody changed the message and it was just hilarious. I know I know it detracted from, from what uh, the chamber was trying to say in regards to the road closure, but they changed the message. It said uh, zombies on Redwood, but don't worry, bro, just chill harder. So there you go. That is what that was, and it was hilarious. I'm sorry. I like. I think it was fun. It was creative. It was, for the most part, harmless. And uh, Kathy says, hello, Todd. Paulette just posted a heart. 
Aaron says, hey, mom. Yep, we'll get to mom. We'll get to mom's feedback in a minute. Uh, Janella says, woohoo, Todd, Fall Festival is on this year. Can't wait. I, I hope so. I hope. Um, Michael says, tell Don and all CB friends you are not, he is not getting married. So Michael is not getting married. To clarify, Don is tagging Jason. Getting back to the wonderful idea that Paulette and Ross have had and have done six times before. It's called the cash mob. And at certain businesses, we will let you know, Paulette and Ross will let you know as well where these places will be. Paulette, Ross, or I will be chipping in money to purchase services or products or food at these places. And you can show up and you can get free stuff. Again, this is Paulette and, and Ross's idea. I think it's amazing. It's super, super cool. It's an, it's an awesome way to support local businesses. Wanted to just let you know that more will be on the way. And uh, Paulette and Ross will let you know. I think it's the, the Eden Area food page or the Eden Area Eats page. will also let you know where they're going to be here on Castro Valley News. Thank you to Ross and Paulette for making that happen. It's such a cool idea. It's just people in town wanting to support other business people. And it's super, super cool. As I mentioned, let's see, cash mom. Yes. Uh, Todd says, I love commodities. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, I went back too far. Todd says, I love commodities. Okay, Todd and Todd and Janella are talking. Todd and Janella, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. I don't want to detract all the cool stuff that Todd and Janella do behind the scenes to support local local businesses too. Because through the Chamber of Commerce, Janella and and Todd do tons and tons of stuff to support local businesses and to improve our, our community. So thank you guys for all that you do behind the scenes and in front of the scenes. Uh, mom's feedback. Hi, Mom. I love you. I know Mom's, you know, mom's watching the show. What? Michael just dropped a bomb in the comments. Michael says, I will let you know this. I did buy my girlfriend a ring that is just a promise ring right now. My, Michael, you are on the way to episode 200 being real. For real, real, real. Um, Maggie says, hello, mom. Uh, Don says, hi, mom. We love you. Oh, Jacob says, speaking of food giveaway, 565 five, East Llewellyn Boulevard, San Lorenzo, every Friday, 1 p.m., pull up, get a box of fresh food. Is that a church, Jacob? And, and before I go on to anything else, let me mention congratulations to Michael. He bought his lucky, wonderful girlfriend a promise ring. That's a huge step, my friend. That is a huge step, and I think that is awesome. Um, Aaron says, tell Denise I said hello. Um, I don't know who Denise is, but if I see Denise, I'll definitely pass that along, Aaron. Uh, yes. So, Mom's feedback from Tuesday's show. Hi, Mom. I love you. Mom is always watching episode, every episode. And Don says, no freezing up during the stream. Nice. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Aaron. Uh, Denise is Aaron's mom. Good evening, Denise. That is from me, and that is from Aaron as well. Uh, Michael says, the ring that he got his wonderful girlfriend is her, her birthstone. Let me tell you something, Michael. You, you, you're a romantic guy, and I like that. Right on, Michael. Treat your woman right. I like that. You're a gentleman, Michael. I love it. 
So, uh, mom's feedback from Tuesday's show. Uh, Donna saying hello to Kathy. Michael, your girlfriend is a lucky lady because you're a gentleman. You're a gentleman who is a gentle man. I love it. Right on, Michael. I'm I I'm I'm just happy for you. I'm happy for you. Beyond happy. I can't contain my joy for Michael and his girlfriend. It's awesome. Whenever anyone in this world discovers love or fosters love or brings forth love in any way, and I know Don is loving what I'm saying right now. And my and Don says, yes, that's practically an engagement ring. But getting back to it, uh Bob says watching the luge at the Olympics, strange sport. Also, Olympics are being shown at the Chabot. There you go. Uh, Michael said he was trying to get his girlfriend to be on the show, but um, she didn't want to. There you go. Uh, Michael, uh, Don says love is in the air. Wonderful. Whenever anything, like I said, whenever love is fostered, love is discovered, love is brought forward. I sound like Barry White. Whenever love is love. <laughs> Sorry. It's a, it's awesome. I'm super happy for you, Michael. And obviously, I'm so freaking happy that I'm just as silly as possible. It's awesome. We need more love in this world. And, um, ah, boy. Uh, maybe I'll just forget about the list and just bask in the glow of the amazingness that's happening to Michael. I've known Michael for tons of years. And Dana says, good evening, Dana. Uh, your gift card to Daily Dose is in the mail. Dana says, I love that there is a ring involved now. Michael, you, 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 you solidified your love with this wonderful woman. You have made it real. It's not just, I love you back and forth. I mean, that's real, but you, you've made it. It, it is, it is, it, it, that's a physical, uh, uh, a tangible representation of that love. And I think it's awesome. I, you know what, if I were, if you were here right here, Mike, I'd give you a big old hug because you're awesome. I love it. Uh, Kathy says, when am I getting married? Oh, boy. Um, let's get back to the list, Kathy. No. Uh, um, maybe someday. Maybe someday. Uh, Michael says he loves all his former Castro Valley family. Michael, you are still part of the Castro Valley family because you're part of the family that's on the show here. Uh... Aaron says, tell Denise I said hi. She logged off, didn't get my shout out. Aaron, yes, I did. I gave I gave Denise a shout out uh, a little little while ago. But Denise, oh there, Denise, welcome to the show. Denise, Aaron, and I are giving you a shout out. We are giving you love. Welcome to the show. Denise, you are awesome. And Jacob says, uh, delayed response, San Lorenzo food pickup. It is a church. And I'm going to try to find the location of that church. Um, there was. Um, Jacob, give me the address and the information for, for that free pickup again, because sometimes the comments disappear as, as, the, the, um, as they come in. So, Jacob, definitely give me that information again, because I'd like to pass it along to the listeners. At some point before we reach the end of the show, um, Aaron says, I know she logged off and back on. She missed it. You're welcome. You're welcome, Aaron. Uh, Denise, you are awesome. Uh, Don is giving a shout out to, to Denise as well. Denise, welcome to the show. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you for just being awesome. And thank you for checking out the show. Mom's feedback from Tuesday's show. Hi, Mom. Again, I love you. Mom's feedback from Tuesday's show. Uh, there were tons of new listeners, which is true. We had uh, three tonight, which is super, super cool. Uh, Just Jean says, hello, Denise. There you go. So everybody, if, if you, if you're listening, let's give a, let's give a super big shout out to Denise. Hello, Denise. So the free food pickup is at uh, 565 East Llewelling and Jacob, I also, I forgot the day and the time. So give me that one more time if you can. Jacob. And thank you for bringing that up. I appreciate that. Uh, Don says, we have shirts at One Bad Apple Records. Yes. 
Uh, Dana says, hello, Denise. Hello, Denise. So mom's feedback from Tuesday's show. <laughs> Don says, not a commercial, just saying. Chrissy says, hello, Denise. Uh, Dennis says, hola, Denise. There you go. Every Friday at 1 p.m., there's free food at the church located at 6 565 565. It is 565 East Lewilling Boulevard, San Lorenzo. So I'll give you that one more time since I stumbled upon it. Every Friday at 1 p.m., there is a free food giveaway. It is at 565 East Lewilling Boulevard. That is a church. Thank you for the information, Jacob. Uh, Dana says, hello, Denise. Chrissy says, hello, Denise. Bob says, hi, Denise. Scooby-Doo. Dennis says, hello, Denise. Eileen says, hello, Denise. Um, <laughs> Mick J says, zombies on Redwood shirts. That would be awesome. Carolyn says, hello, Denise. Don is tagging Jackie. Gary says, someone should pick up food from that church giveaway and bring it to the community cupboard. Good idea. So, mom's feedback from Tuesday's show. Hi again, mom. I love you. Hope you're doing well. Mom's smiling right now. That makes me smile. My mom's smiling right now because her son is happy. I'm going to be happy when I test negative and I can see my mom and I can see my girlfriend. But, uh, mom, I miss you. I love you. Mom's feedback from Tuesday's show. Mom was pleased that there were so many new listeners. I love that. We had three new people uh, tuning in tonight. Uh, Mom also said that the show really is like a family, and I, I say that often. I say that a lot. Um, so that was Mom's feedback. And thank you, Mom. So I'm going to cross that off the list. Mom's feedback. Love you, Mom. I'm not going to mention that because that's... I don't want to get into that political stuff. Guys, if you are listening or uh, if you would like to text in a question or a comment or a complaint, 510-331-9112. Uh, Don is going to love this, and I love this as well. Tiffany just sent 10 stars. Tiffany has sent stars eight weeks in a row. Thank you, Tiffany. Uh, Don, if you missed that, Tiffany just sent stars. <laughs> Don has, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Don has, uh, Don is playing a game at home, and there you go. I love this. Uh, so, yes, Tiffany just sent 10 stars. Tiffany has sent stars eight weeks in a row. If you missed it, Don, there's an icon here where you can send stars. They do cost money. It is a super cool way that Facebook allows folks to send a Wow. We've got a spammer, which is interesting. <laughs> uh, I won't name them, but they are posting an amazing deals code on the page wow i'm just trying to keep up with them that's cool i love when we, we it, you know you've truly arrived when your live stream gets it gets a spammer Right, Dana is going. What the heck? I, I can't. I'm. I'm just. Lily, stop spamming the the thread here. It's not welcome. I appreciate that you're watching the show, but the outside links are not welcome. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that is. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Todd says, shop local, not spammer. There you go. Lily, 
Um, as soon as this is over, I'm probably going to ban you from the page because, <laughs> oh, Bob said, what the hack? There you go. Uh, Maggie says, block them. I actually, I'm trying to, um, this is, it's, it's obviously a, and that suggests uh, block. I, I can't. I can't block it from the admin thing here. I'm trying to. Um, so yeah, guys. Uh, if you see something that you're tagged in, do not click on it. Um, it's it's an outside thing that is not. Uh, it's not part of us, and it's definitely. It's a spam scam thing. Which, wow, it's wild that we've got a spam scammer on our. Uh, <laughs> on the live stream guys that's over an hour and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna call the show at this point thank you guys for being awesome thank you to um, Armando Linda and David the new people who commented on the page you guys are awesome this is the show that we do every Tuesday and Saturday at 7 p.m. for one hour and yes <laughs> <laughs> Kathy is correct. We do not say welcome, Lili. Le <laughs> I mean, we can because they tuned in, but Lili is probably a bot. And uh, I apologize that you guys were tagged in uh, those those spam scam things. Uh, I, I guess you've arrived when you have spam or scammers on your live stream. Wild times. It's been a wonderful episode. Uh, Eileen says, see you Tuesday. Yes, you will. Uh, Roberto, uh, I'm sorry. Michael says, I am the best. No, Michael, you, you are the best. You are awesome. Michael, I am so beside myself with joy for you and your wonderful lady. It's awesome. Super cool. Uh, everybody is, there you go. Everybody is saying goodbye to Lily. So there you go. Uh, congratulations, Paulette, for winning the $25 gift certificate to Pizza Express. I know how to get this to you, and I will definitely bring it to you uh, in the new week. Guys, you are awesome. We will see you uh, Tuesday at 7 p.m. for another episode. As always, when the going gets weird, the weird turn pro. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for being amazing and making this show. Um, it's really a joy to me two days a week. I love seeing your faces. I love interacting with you guys. So guys, be safe, stay healthy, and uh, yeah, we'll see you Tuesday. Good night.